Alright, so let's continue our modeling process. So, kukumpituin natin yung basic model natin. So, I'm going to add like few beams on my structure. By the way, clarif clarification lang on the description of yung structural element natin. Initially, all elements, including yung vertical and horizontal, we refer to them as beams pa lang. So, wala pa tayong distinction between columns or beams or diagonal elements. So, anyway, so what we'll do is select yung mga nodes for both yung top and then bottom, uh, parang second floor or, or, and then roof ng structure. And then, uh, we will be using the connect beams through yung parallel uh, X and Z axis natin. So, I piliin natin sila no so connect uh, x axis tapos ito naman is uh, z axis ayan and then let's just clean up our model by deleting some elements that are not needed like all of our beams below so uh, one way to select is to just view the model through yung say front view siguro and then Using yung highlight method. So, i-highlight lang natin yung mga bottom beams natin. And then, delete. Alright. So, ganyan yung magiging itsura niya. Ayan. Okay. So, uh, let me add some other modeling techniques or modeling processes. We're in, let's say, gusto natin magdagdag. If you want to add additional beams inside of yung panels nung second floor. Like, for instance, we want to add something like a an intermediate or secondary beam dito para gamitin natin for yung landing nung ating stairs. So, to do that, let's say, define muna natin yung property. So, let's say we will be adding a beam on this part of yung structure natin. Tapos yung length natin dito is 1.2 meters. So, 1.2 meters yan. Ito rin, 1.2 meters. Ayan, so, pwede natin gawin yan by simply, there are, there are actually different methods. One of which is, pwede tayong mag-add ng node dito. Or, we can just simply use yung add beam method dito. So, add beam. Ayan, so add beam. Pwede natin gamitin yan. I-click lang natin yung button na to. Right? And then again, yung cursor natin was uh, changed into a parang cotton buds. And then, yung mangyari kasi is that parang puputuli natin yung beam na to. And then this one. So parang puputuli natin sila so that pwede tayo mag-insert ng node. Tsaka natin yung connect yung beam. Like so. So, uh, ikiklik ko lang dito sa beam na to. Yung unang puputulin natin. I-click ko lang and it says here that, do you want to add a node? I'll select yes. And then, may option tayo dito na um, i-provide yung distance o kaya proportion. So, pag proportion, by percentage. Pag distance naman, by length. Distance. So, please take note of yung mga coordinate dito. Yung number ng node na kung saan dapat yung start and then end. Now, yung numbering is 16 and then 17. So, babalik ako dito. Palitan natin yung selector natin ng node. Ito is, pag dinobble click natin to this is node 16. And then, node, this one is node 17. So, ibig sabihin, manggagaling tayo from 17, pabalik. Papunta sa likod. Uh, saka natin nilalagay yung 1.2. So, you can use like, uh, Una, tignan muna natin yung length ng beam natin. Ang length nito is 5. Ito rin, most likely 5. Tignan na rin natin yung numbers ng nodes niya, no? So, this one is 14. This one is 15. So, 14, 15, 16, 17 yung nodes natin. So, kung 5 meters, so gamitin natin yung method. So, geometry, add beam. Click natin dito. And then, add node, Yes. So, yung distance natin coming from 16, kasi yung distance is coming from yung 16 joint. 
That's why 5 minus 1.2 yung mangyayari ngayon. So, 5 minus 1.2. Let me just open my calculator. 5 minus 1.2. That's 3.8. Yun yung ilalagay natin dito. 3.8. And then, we'll have to click this node or yung, yung button na to. So, add new point. So, para lumabas to. And then, as you can see, lalabas yung additional na cut doon sa beam and then we press ok and on our model may lalabas na bagong node and then yung beam na buo mapuputol into 2 so to check if tama yung cut natin ido double click natin doon sa newly created na beam so tignan natin yung length nya and it turns out na 1.2 so tama yung total length I'll do the same for my other For, for the other beam add node and then parehas na 14 to 15 so ito 3.8 so yung proportion na 76% add point um, before we before I confirm yung insert node meron tayong additional dito na option katulad ng add midpoint or kung gusto mong putulin yung beam mo into equal parts So, pwede mong i-define yung end number niya. So, two equal parts, three equal parts, and then add point. So, kung gusto mong dalawang parts lang, like for instance, let me just delete this one. Delete lang natin to. Um, so, click natin yung remove. Now, kung gusto natin na midpoint, then add one point lang. Midpoint yan. So, sa gitna. Pag gusto natin na Three equal parts. So, dalawang joints yung idadagdag natin. Two joints. Add point. Right? But what we want is yung exact distance na 3.8 from 14th node. So, add point and then press OK. Then finally, we can just connect them using yung existing na command na uh, working pa rin yung add beam. So, click on the first node that you have created and then on the second node that you have just created. And then, yun. Tapos na yung ating modeling for yung intermediate beam.